hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I will show you how you can use power automate to copy the task from your SharePoint task list or any other task list that you are using to Microsoft Planner we will also learn how you can dynamically find all the plan the buckets in the plan and also move the attachments that you are storing in your SharePoint task list so stay tuned So for this video, I have created this team task list. Uh, this list is nothing but it has different tasks. I have defined the categories, status, priority, who it assigned to, due date and descriptions. And as you can see here, some of these item or tasks already have some attachment. So what I'm gonna show you how you can create or use Power Automate to get all these items, tasks from this list, move it to a particular bucket or a plan in the planner and also associate this attachment automatically so first thing we will do we will log into power automate okay so i logged into power automate now i'm going to create a power automate flow for this video i'm going to select an instant cloud flow but you can select another trigger depending on your requirement okay another thing right so as you know i'm using my sharepoint list with attachment for this video. If you are tracking your task in some other Microsoft list or Excel, you can definitely use this method. So first thing we will do, because we are trying to create the task in the planner from the SharePoint list. So I'm gonna to try to get all those tasks from my SharePoint list. So I'm going to connect to the SharePoint and use the get items method. Here I need to provide the site address, list name, okay? And for now, I'll just give a name to my flow and save it. Okay, before we move forward, Let's see my planner also. So we will log into tasks.office.com. This will take you to the planner. And I have what I have done, I have created this PMO plan. Okay. And currently, as you can see, this planner has no task in it. But I have created these different bucket. Okay. And if you look at my SharePoint list, I have also defined the same bucket as a category. The reason I'm doing so when I'm migrating or moving these tasks from SharePoint list to the planner, I can move them to the correct bucket. It is an optional step if you want to maintain the bucket or if you want to move these tasks to a correct bucket, you should be using this kind of method that will help you. Okay, so in our flow, the next thing that we need to do, first we need to find all the plans that we have in our uh, planner. So for that, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use Office 365 groups. And here we need to find um, method called list groups now why we are doing it so as you know what happened when you create a plan in your planner like we have here the office 365 create a group for that plan so for pmo i have a pmo group created by automatically by office 365 so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna use this list group and here in the filter row what we're gonna do we're gonna say that show me or get me only group where display name equals to pmo pmo is the name of my group okay so now what happened with this this is going to give me the group and why we need the group you need the group name because we will use the detail that we will get from this list group to find the the plan id and also the bucket id so for now let me save it and run it so i will show you what you will get from this list group method it will ask you to log in so you can say continue run flow so if you go to the list group and as you can see here what I got in the response I get my group ID and I get all the other details okay so the next thing now we will do we will try to find all the plans for this group okay so to get the plan for this group what we're gonna do we're gonna use the planner so search for the planner and then list plan for a group as you can see here now what it is asking ID of the group so now it is very simple. I can click on this drop down. It's going to give me all the group ID, but I want to make it more dynamic. So I'll click on enter custom value. Now, if you don't want to make it dynamic, if you know that it's always going to be the same plan that you're going to use, you can just select from the list. So here I will do enter custom value. 
and from my previous step list group i'm gonna just select the the id okay okay now as you can see here because i selected the group id and there can be more than one plan under one particular group it is adding that loop so if in your case like in my case i know that i'm only going to have one plan under this group so i don't need to have this unnecessary loop so what i can do i can just say that okay instead of going through the loop give me the first plan that you get under this group okay so for that what we need to do first select this value okay i'm going to copy it so you can say control c and and in this list plan for a group go to the expression okay here i'm going to type the first and then paste what you just copied okay and then remove the curly from the end and from the at the rate front so what it is saying it's saying first so give me the first item in the collection and collection is the output of our list group action and the body value is actually the result okay now this will give you the first plan but what we need we need the id so what i'm going to do at the very end you will do id okay click ok you can remove this and now you can move this out of this apply to each and you can delete this apply to each. okay so now you have this first output list group that is output of previous action give me the id that's tested okay so when you run this and if you try to test automatically from the previous one because we have added this planner connection you need to make sure that you are clicking on manually and testing it so it will ask you to create connection for the planner and then you will click continue okay so now as you can see here you got the plan information so now you have the plan id and every other information about the plan that you have now next thing what we will do so we got the plan now we need to get all the buckets also right because we what we are trying to do we are trying to create task under correct bucket so i'll click on the next step i'll go to the planner again okay and then we have a action called list buckets so select that and here again if you if you don't want to make it dynamic you can select from the drop down it will give you all the group and plan that you have or if you want to make dynamic then what you can do you can always click on enter custom value and then put the group id now again if you just go to the list group and select group id it will add that apply to each loop automatically because power automate think that can be more than one group id so what you can do you can just copy the same expression that we use to get the group id control c and you will come here in the expression paste it okay so this is a group id and for the plan id we will use the same first method the only thing will change here so let me go to the custom value click expression paste it so as you can see here right this is saying output of list group this was the list group action now what we need we need the first id that we get in the list plan for a group right so instead of using list group we will use this action name so list underscore plans for a group now remember you need to make sure that you are using the right name so if you rename this and use another name make sure that you are using the correct one or this will not work click save let's try one more time okay so as you can see here now i am getting all of my bucket that i have in my plan okay so how part is done now we got all the buckets now what we need to do now we need to start moving the task from sharepoint list to the planner with the attachment right so the next thing that we will do we will again go to planner okay and this time we will say create task and then uh, group id as you already know we already have it you just need to copy the same logic that we have so this is the group id the expression you need to copy come here expression and paste and the plan id is going to be this one okay now the title of the task i'm gonna just select the title of coming from my list i'll do that and once you do that what's gonna do yes because it's a sharepoint item it's gonna create a loop so it will run for each list item that we have okay now we also need the bucket id so to get the bucket id we need to add another action okay so what you need to add right now is a filter query okay so filter array okay and what we are filtering on you remember we did this list of bucket so we are filtering the response that we got from the list bucket so this is a, like a collection of all the buckets that you have 
So we are filtering on that, okay? So if you see this list bucket, there is something called value name. This is nothing but the name of the bucket. So planning, executing, initiating, this is what you will get in this, this value name. So we are saying filter the array where value name is equal to in our SharePoint list or in my SharePoint list, I have created that category, remember? That is the same, I kept the same name as my bucket name. So here I need to compare with that. So category value. Now why category value? Because this is a choice column. So in SharePoint, this is my choice column, okay? And what I'm gonna, what I need to do, you need to move this create task. So to select it and drag it after that. So because we need this information before we create the task. So now output of this will give you the bucket ID because you need the bucket ID. So same thing, I'm gonna go enter custom value, go to expression and our method is very same. Again, I'm gonna say first because I just need the first bucket ID that I get from my previous filter array. Hopefully I will always get one. And then I will pass the action name. So this is my action name as you can see here, filter array, body of filter array and ID. Okay, so this will give me the ID of the bucket where I want this task to be created. Okay, and then we have the due date. And again, all these different column, you can definitely easily get it from your, from your SharePoint. If you have that column, if not, then you can just ignore it. Assign to, okay. Okay, now as we have discussed earlier, we are not only creating the task, we are also moving the attachment if the attachment exists. So first, we need to catch the attachment for that item. We're gonna add another action, SharePoint get attachments, right? And then so select the site address, list name, okay? Now ID, because we are already inside the loop, so I'm gonna just select the ID of my SharePoint task. So this is one, right? So what this will do, this will get me all the attachments for a given item, okay? So the next thing that we will do, we will associate this attachment with the newly created task in planner, okay? So again, I will go to the planner, okay? And this time, what you're gonna use, you're gonna use update task, okay? So update task detail, this one, okay, select that. Now, as you can see here, it is saying that, okay, give me the task ID. Click enter custom value, okay? And then in this create task action that you have, we are doing here, you will get that ID of the task. So you just need to select that, okay? This will associate with that and how you will associate attachment here. So this is where you're gonna use this reference alias and reference resource link one. Alias is a display name of your attachment that you are doing, that you will get from your get attachment display name. Okay, and again, it's gonna add the apply to each because there can be more than one attachment on a single item. The reference link is going to be absolute URI. So select that. These two items will allow you to associate the given attachment to the given task, okay? So that's all, click save, test, okay? So flow started, now it's gonna go through all the groups, find the plan, find the bucket, and then go through each item in your SharePoint list and start creating. So we will start seeing some of the tasks getting added here, right? So all the tasks got created, not only that, you can see all the attachment has also been move like for example if i click as you can see our attachment is already there so now i can see all of my tasks i can see all of these attachment if i open this in teams i can see all of the same task in my team yeah so this is pretty easy so straightforward to move the task from sharepoint list to the planner and also include the attachment that's all for this video thank you very much for watching the video don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you very much